Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Before you watch today's video, please subscribe us. If you always watch our video, you may know the history and the development of Huawei. The sword of Damocles on the heads of China's high core technology companies can finally be temporarily removed. When China realized that the domestic technology level was difficult to break through 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers chip technology in a short period of time, Huawei deployed the 3D chip stacking process and the field of optical quantum chips at the fastest speed in order to achieve, change lanes and overtake under the blockade of electronic chips. Even the New York Times has commented on the gratifying achievement so far. If the United States does not act, it will not be able to catch up with China within five years. In fact, Huawei has no 5G core and Karine core to be as tough as Apple, which is tantamount to being full of blood. Fortunately, the current stacking process can already stack multiple chips to achieve a performance level that cannot be achieved by the original process. Simply put, Stacking two 14 nanometers chips can in principle improve the performance of the chips to the 7 nanometers process level. This also means that even if Huawei does not have an EUV lithography machine, it can produce 7 nanometers chips. If the stacking process is a piece of case, then Huawei's layout of the photonic chip can be called an annual breakthrough in changing lanes and overtaking. In the eyes of scientists, optical quantum chips have greater potential in terms of transmission efficiency and power consumption. Being able to have high-end chips without relying on EUV lithography machines is undoubtedly the most suitable development route for China. Not long ago, there was a series of good news from the Chinese Academy of Sciences which undoubtedly gave Huawei greater confidence. On October 20, 2022, the international journal Nature Communications published a major research result. The team of Chinese scientist Professor Guo Guangsan observed a high efficiency synthesis of high order nonlinear processes and for the first time achieved topologically protected photonic crystal chips. Achieve quantum interference. Undoubtedly, this is a key breakthrough in the research of integrated photonic chip quantum devices. Before that, Professor Guo Guangsan's team prepared the world's largest three-dimensional integrated photonic quantum chip, semiconductor 6 quantum dot chip, in 2018. In 2021, the team cooperated with experimental research groups such as Shengshan and Xijiang University to successfully design the first timer, Harpoon, Shaped topological beam splitter structure was prepared. In addition, the source 6 bit superconducting quantum chip and 24 bit superconducting quantum chip successively. Launched by Hefi Yuanyu and Quantum Enterprise, belong to the international first class level. For a long time, the development of Chinese chips has been constrained by European and American countries but it is electronic chips that are sanctioned by Europe and the United States. From the current development point of view, the domestic high-core technology giants are not following the original development path of electronic chips to break through 14 nanometers, 7 nanometers, and 5 nanometers, but instead realize the transformation from electricity to light in materials break through another new technical route and bypass the barriers of lithography machines. And once the breakthrough, it will also promote China's photonic quantum chip to take a big step forward. In fact, when China is making rapid progress in the field of industrial chips, the frontier substances known as life chips on the life science track have also made significant progress. The report shows that the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Qingbei, and other universities in China have included the anti-aging technology, Zhu Hongtang, discovered by the Harvard Laboratory in 2013 into clinical verification. After simple intervention on senescent cells, the body can be restored to young adult state, and even mammals get a 20% recharge of healthy lifespan. 
As domestic colleges and universities have made major clinical breakthroughs, this technology has also swept from JD.com and Mall Online to the rich circles of the three places on both sides of the Taiwan Strait. According to the data, top streamers such as the goddess of immortality Yi Ningjing and real estate boss Pan Shi have already become the first wave of crab eaters. It is said that in 2019, Pan Fu Hao's early adopters of such technological achievements cost more than 1.5 million annually, which can be called a pill and a thousand pieces of gold. Although the price is too high, that the Chinese people still show a rare enthusiasm. According to the international JD.com survey data, as the production cost of Ju Hongtang has been greatly reduced by more than 90%, this technology has also become a sweet pastry in the eyes of many high net worth targets, and breaking the circle for domestic life science and technology has also become their common goal. Pursue In addition, Citic Securities predicts that, driven by hundreds of thousands of high net worth targets, the scale of a track similar to Ju Hongtang will approach 100 billion in the next few years. And this is only the tip of the iceberg, of China's breakthroughs in life science and technology. With the help of world-leading modern biological models and tools, scientists will surely have more forward-looking excavations in the future. After all, no one wants the nightmare of being sanctioned like high-speed trains, shield machines, and chips to happen again. Fortunately, there are still technological hard bones like Huawei and BYD in China. It is precisely because of their responsibility and sense of responsibility that the first multimaterial cross-scale photonic chip production line in China is in preparation and is expected to be completed in Beijing in 2023, is expected to fill China's gap in the field of photonic chip foundry. It is undeniable that the optical quantum chip is only one of Huawei's breakthroughs in responding to sanctions in Europe and the United States. In fact, graphene chips and chiplet technology are also plans B and C under this sanctions. Once the photonic chip goes through, it means that the core barriers of the lithography machine will no longer exist and China will be able to produce photonic chips using the existing raw materials and equipment. In the face of Huawei's many breakthroughs, blind suppression has promoted the birth of photonic quantum chips, and many foreign media have begun to satirize, believing that changing lanes cannot be achieved. But the United States also put forward a request arguing that China should share the photonic quantum chip technology to benefit the industry together. And this makes people wonder, since it is impossible to achieve, why should we share it? What do you feel in today's video? Please write down your views in the comment area.